Hello everybody, this is Das from Das Mod water cooling store. Uh, as a tech support guy, I spend a lot of time over the phone with the people who are calling me and uh, asking the same question. I would like to get into water cooling, but it's uh, all subject is uh, confuses me. I don't know where to start and can you help me to put the system, there's my technical details of my build and so on and so forth. And um, and I help uh, all people who are calling, uh, but there's a few basics that actually universal for everybody. And I think it's a good idea to make a mini series of videos to cover the different options. And um, if there are any specific details, it always can be discussed over the phone. But uh, the basic is the same. And I'd like uh, to cover it for everybody's benefit. And uh, we'll go step by step. I have a 10 minutes limitation on each video by YouTube, so I don't know how many it will be ending up. I don't have any script, I will just will tell you what I usually say over the phone, uh, and uh, you can just uh, take it or leave it, it's uh, one guy's opinion. Anyways, so you're ready to go water cooling, what you do, uh, which part to choose. There's a few things that... Uh, you need to address first and uh, probably the very first thing is essentially money and I would like to discuss that I will speaking mostly for Canadian and American markets uh, the dollars on, is on par so um, it doesn't matter uh, which currency we're talking about and uh, Europe can be different but anyways so if you'd like to go water cooling uh, this obviously will add cost to your build because you're replacing standard uh, cooling uh, air fans with uh, water cooling solution and uh, will cost you more money so there's a few options how you can go and each option will cost you differently one option if you're really on tight budget and um, you're not really looking for serious overclocking and the more after make a check mark that your system is um, water cooled the good option is a pre-filled closed loop solutions. Um, Corsair or Coolit make uh, the system that cools your CPU. Uh, everything pre-assembled for you, you just slap a uh, water cooling block on your CPU the same way as you put any fan and uh, you attach your radiators in place of um, your exhaust fan on the back of the case over here. and. Uh, that's it. It can cost you 100 bucks. Uh, you probably get same or sometimes even worse performance than with a high-end uh, air cooler. Uh, so don't expect any miracles here. But you can say my system water cooled. Cool, right? So I wouldn't uh, go into those details. If you want to buy it, it's a one-stop solution. You buy it, install it, done. So there's nothing to discuss in here. Um, if you'd like to go a little bit more, seriously into overclocking I would like to have a system which is runs uh, as not as loud for example because there's a few ways why you want water cooling uh, you might have a um, high performance system so you can reach higher overclocks or you can have a system which is runs uh, with less noise so the both is uh, achievable with water cooling setup so again if you look for the custom uh, build you still have two options nevertheless one option you collect all bits and pieces like uh, in this computer and uh, pick up parts assemble them and um, i would say that your minimum cost will be around 300 dollars and uh, this includes one water cooled component it can be let's say cpu or it can be one video card so if you will add more components, let's say one CPU in one video card, you can just add 100 bucks to it. So it became 400 for two components, 300 for four components, so on and so forth. This is bare minimum. Uh, if you like really fancy things, you know, the things can go expensive. But the bare minimum is, let's say, $300 for the CPU uh, single loop setup. So. If that is still more expensive for you and uh, you know nothing to be ashamed of here because uh, different people have different budgeted right 
So you still actually can have uh, something better than pre-filled solution. Uh, there's a few very simple kits like uh, this XSPC uh, water cooling kit. It has all components in one and for that reason you get basically it's discounted. So you have everything that you need inside. It's your fans and your radiator and uh, anything you need. You don't understand it now because we didn't went into that. but just buy full system and you have all components is required to assemble it it will be much better than pre-filled solution and current price for the kit is about $150 so it's half of the real custom loop and it will work just as good as a, the cheapest version for 300 bucks when you buy pieces as you like but this is you have a predefined component and sometimes it's not a bad idea to start with a kit like this because you put it, spend 150 bucks uh, and after that you build on it because not all components need to be replaced you can have a color tubing or color liquid or change this part and that part you know and start building uh, step by step but the number one part you need to start somewhere and uh, your uh, fully assembled kit is a good idea to go so for those who are interested in uh, you know making fully custom build uh, I will go into more details and I will explain which parts you need and uh, that uh, probably will be separate video